Does anybody talk to their patients about not having any dental work after they have injections for a, a certain period of time? Because there's been some reported cases of maybe two or three weeks after filler someplace that they've had dental work and then all of a sudden there's a flare-up infection. I have never seen any problem, but Becky and I have both published together on uh, uh, injecting in and around this novel product called BioAlchemid, which is not FDA approved. It uh, is available in Europe and Mexico. I think its use is really falling by the wayside. There are a number of late appearing uh, bacterial abscesses, uh, staph and strep viridans particularly. Uh, and there are lots of cases where mm -hmm. the dentist has gone in and interrupted this injectable prosthesis, if you will. It's basically a, 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 a permanent type of filler, uh, a hydrogel polymer. If you, if you violate uh, where it's sitting uh, with anything uh, dirty, like a uh, dental needle, uh, you can seed bacteria and it will grow, so it's, it's not an uncommon thing. So I would elicit that history, particularly um, patients who may have spent some time in Europe or Mexico or South America, they may have that implant in their face. I, I would echo that. I have three patients which I need to um, put in the literature that, <clears throat> excuse me, have all had significant, not teeth cleaning little procedures, but significant dental work and sculpture injections followed two or three months later by, and it, it seems to be delayed, and I, I don't understand that, but have had sculpture injections and developed serious, multiple, large nodules. And so I do think that it's important for us to now going forward again as we have new products come to market that we're going to put in deeper planes, um, longer lasting, that we need to ask that history or possibly say, if you get it now and you're going to be having significant dental work done, that you might want to delay that. And Becky, you have some Yeah, there's a couple of articles that Gottfried Limperly put out on granulomas, causes and treatments of granulomas that was in plastic and reconstructive surgery several years ago. And their feeling was that some of those granulomatous reactions, late granulomatous reactions, may be a, a host issue or maybe some sort of a systemic reaction that gets set off by something like a dental procedure or other illness. And, the, um, and I think we're still kind of working that out and figuring that out if it's a, a host issue or a product issue. I guess it can be both, but in a setting of predictable products, it's probably a host issue and that's probably the trigger. Okay, but I think it's important to put that down that we, we all have some big question marks there and it can't hurt to try to make sure we bring that into the conversation.